Any programs important to Portland Christian School is Spiritual Life. I'm joined right now with the Spiritual Life Director, Jacqueline Miles. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. So tell me, why is this type of programming important to Portland Christian School? Well, we love the Lord Jesus and he's the most important thing and we want him to be a part of everything we do from our academics to our athletics. We want him to permeate what we do. And so teaching and training and equipping our students to love him and to serve him in every area of their life. That's why we have a spiritual life program here. And tell me, what does that look like? What does the spiritual life program look like for students, teachers, everybody involved? Sure. So from preschool all the way to seniors, we have daily Bible instruction. We also have weekly chapel services where students can pray and worship together. But really what makes it special is watching the interactions between our staff and our students and watching their students' faith just come alive when they know they're loved and seen and cared for. Yes. And speaking of which, we have a student with us right now. Introduce yourself. Please. My name is Lola. I'm a senior here at Portland. Awesome. So tell me, you know, being here all four years, right? What has that experience been like? Tell me about how the role that spiritual life plays in um, your life here at Portland Christian School. Yeah, Portland has a special place in my heart. I, um, I've been able to practice here in a safe place to explore who I am in Christ and figure out, you know, how he's designed me. And um, through that, I've figured out that I am going to do mission. So I'm joined with Betty Ann Schreiner. She is a faculty member who's led several mission trips here at Portland Christian School, which is amazing. So tell me about that program. Um, what are some of the countries that you all have been to? We have been to, oh goodness, Mexico, Latin, in Latin America, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Russia. Hungry. So tell me more about the program. Um, how did it start? We just had an opportunity that was put in front of us and we said, sure, let's do that. Right. So then asked students to sign up and they did and that started it and we've been doing it ever since. That's amazing. And I can, what is the participation levels? I'm wondering how many students do you all normally take on some of these trips? It's different. Some mm -hmm. years it's five or six mm -hmm. on one trip. Um, then there could be a dozen or 15 or something, which is usually probably the largest. Um, which is a good group because it's a good group to get used to each other, hang out, become family or bonded on that trip together and support each other. So mm -hmm. that's a good size that we like to do. It really is. And tell me, so I know that you mentioned several trips that you all have been on, but what does it usually look like when you all go? Um, what type of things are you all doing? Okay, that's really hard to say what because we've done so many things. We have done construction trips where we built houses in four days, which was amazing for the kids. Uh, we have done medical missions where they go support a medical team that's there. We've done teaching things where you teach English as a second language. Um, we've done door-to-door -door evangelism or just supporting small, um, had a group that went to a city dump mm -hmm. and every day hung out there and played with little kids. So there's been a lot of things we've yeah. done. And that's life-changing experiences that I know that they'll never forget. So I could imagine that's part of the reason you all want to have this type of programming, right? Absolutely. Um, going out of the country in general is eye-opening for students, but going out of the country as believers and and just putting yourself in God's hands to what do you want me to do today is completely faith opening and opening their eyes to who God is and the, and the greater world and what it is we're supposed to be doing in the world. So it is absolutely life changing to students that go. I believe it. So I know that you all have an array of programs. If um, parents are wanting to learn more about the programs you all offer and just how to enroll, what's the best place for them to go to get that information? They can go to the website and start the process there and there's all kinds of information for them. 